Hey everyone, it's me, SlimDGB, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Fabric from Minecraft, which is this. Now if you guys already have Fabric installed and you're just looking on how to put mods into the correct folder, then I'll leave a timestamp on screen and in the, de in the description so that you can skip to that part of the video. Okay, cool. I'm going to be addressing a few quick things for you guys. First of all, yes, I'm on a Mac computer right now. Even if you have a Windows computer, a lot of the steps for installing are going to be the same. One of the biggest differences is navigating to the correct folder to put the mods in. So I'll be talking about that whole thing later. But for now, let's just focus on getting Fabric installed on your Minecraft launcher. Now, I will be using the main Minecraft launcher for this because it is what I know the best. So the first thing we're going to want to do is download the Fabric installer which there will be a link for down in the description, which will take you to the main Fabric website, which I will be opening right now. It should look something like this. So on this website, you'll click the Download Here button right here. So you'll either be doing the download for Windows if you're on Windows or downloading the Universal if you're on the Minecraft launcher. I'm going to be downloading this install because I'm on Mac, so I use the Universal. Okay, so we can close this now, and you'll see down here that we now have the fabric installer. So now all I need to be doing is opening this up and this should pop up for you guys. Now, the other thing we're gonna wanna do, this is actually a very important step, you're gonna wanna close whatever Minecraft launcher you're using, otherwise the install will not work. So after closing the Minecraft launcher, you're gonna wanna come over to here and make sure that this is on client and not server. So the loader version, you should always just go with the latest possible loader version unless you have specific instructions to go with something else. Do whatever Minecraft version that you're current that you're currently trying to run, and you'll just hit install. So once you guys hit install, this will come up. It will prompt you to get the Fabric API, which I will be linking down below, and I'll be telling you how to put it in in the second part of this video. So just ignore that for now. We'll hit OK. We'll close this window, and we will reopen the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see right here, the Fabric Loader 1.19.2 has now been added to my list. Congratulations, you now have Fabric installed. And if you've already had Fabric and you're just coming here, hey, now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get some mods installed. Now, when it comes to mods, I highly recommend using CurseForge to get all of your mods. It's a reliable place to download mods, and on CurseForge, there's over 100,000 mods to choose from. So, I would highly recommend using this. One of the key things, though, is to make sure that the game version is on Game version is on Fabric and nothing else because that's what we're using. Now you just need a Fabric API no matter what. The link is down below in the description so you can download it there and I'll be showing you guys where to put it. Now this is where Windows and Mac get a little bit wonky. On Windows, it's a different process to get to the mods folder than it is on Mac. For Apple, what we're gonna be doing to open up the mods folder is a little bit weird. You're gonna wanna go over to right here and click go. And you're gonna wanna hold down the option key and this thing right here, library, should show up for you. You're going to click library, and this will show up for you guys. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to application support. You're going to scroll down to M. It should be in alphabetical order. And you're going to want to go to Minecraft. And then you're going to want to find here, scroll down to where it says mods, and you'll be putting all of the mods that you need into this folder right here. They should all be jar files. Nothing but jar files should be going in here. Now you can open up the launcher and press play. I'm gonna be running 1.19 again, but you guys will be running whatever version that you guys are running. It really doesn't matter as long as all the mods are in the correct place. I'm gonna have some links to some mods that I recommend for both game performance and fun, and also a few APIs that I recommend you download right off the bat because you'll probably be getting some other mods as well. Now, happy modding everybody, see you later.